Do you love building your camp near water? Maybe it's for the scenery, or maybe you just enjoy obsessively farming purified water. You know who you are. Whatever your reason, here's one awesome camp location near water in each of the six regions of Appalachia. All you hydro homies out there, grab a glass and tag along. All right, first up, let's start in the forest. From the Anchor Farm fast travel point, head slightly left past the treehouse until you've reached the water. This location is perfect for new players just starting out since there are almost no enemies in sight. There will be a ton of foot traffic from people heading to Anchor Farm, and you'll have easy access to all the resources, food, and workbenches at the farm as well. Plus, being centrally located in the forest will help you save a few camps early on and give you a nice springboard to any quests you may come across. The flat ground is also great for new builders since it'll be easy to build something simple, efficient, and useful with plenty of space for all your stuff and as many water purifiers as your little heart desires. As a bonus, because nobody ever built here, you'll have the spot all to yourself for quite a while. Next up, let's head south to my favorite region, the Ash Heap. Fast travel to the Welch train station, then head up the big hill and past the coffee stop where you find this beautiful, toxic lake. On the west edge of the lake is a really large flat area where you can build a nice, immersive, scrappy camp, or maybe a fishing pier like I did in my scavenger shack build. There aren't many resources in this location, unfortunately, but you are super close to Welch and the Mount Blair train yard, which are great for getting your mole miner challenges done. Being so close to the train station also has its perks. You don't have to fast travel to offload stuff, and you'll see plenty of foot traffic from visitors wanting to buy your ridiculously overpriced items. You also get some gorgeous views of the surrounding region, including Welch and Beckley. Some enemies may pop up now and then, but it's a fairly mellow spot. Everyone's least favorite region can have some cool spots from time to time. From the Graninger Farm fast travel point, head due east until you reach this pond filled with radiation barrels. What I dig about this location are the pre-existing radiation barrel and platform assets, which you can use to make a pretty cool, lore-friendly camp. Maybe something like a rad scrubber or a cleanser type building, or if you're a bloodied build, you can use the rad barrels to top off your HP. There are enemy spawns near this location, so be careful and plan accordingly. Just up the hill is another cool location I think is part of a quest line, but it does have some scorch beast carcasses that look pretty rad. Ultimately, this is much more of a vibes type location than any of the others. I wanted to showcase this one because I don't think I've ever seen anyone build here and if you're up for the challenge, why not give it a shot? Not too far away from our Toxic Valley location is this really great pond up in the mountains of the Savage Divide. From the Sacrament fast travel point, head west past the scrapyard and down the hill until you've hit the pond. Not only is it a really well secluded water source, you'll also have an NPC to hang out with and a cool little campground you can incorporate into your build if you want. Unfortunately, the water purifier can't be powered and used, but don't let that deter you from the lovely scenery and gorgeous views. Build a really nice cabin, a lore friendly scrappy home, or whatever your heart desires. Plus, you're only a short hop and skip away from Prigget Fort, the Palace of the Winding Path, and Sunny Top Station. This is another spot that's almost always free. It's not quite as flat as some of the other locations, but it does offer a nice challenge for intermediate and advanced builders to come up with something unique and interesting. There's no shortage of water around the mire, that's for sure, but this spot offers some stuff that other locations just don't. From the treetops fast travel point, head east straight down the hill until you've hit the small island with the wood resource node. What I love about this spot is you get an NPC to chill with, a wood resource to farm, and there's even pumpkins growing here as well. It's a fairly secluded spot, but you're also close to the Dabney Homestead Workshop for weekly challenges, 
as well as treetops which has a chance to spawn three honey beasts or snallygasters. You will encounter a few bugs here, so make sure to add one or two turrets to keep them away, but for the most part it should be relatively peaceful. Build a cool logging camp, a campground, or maybe just a scrappy rundown home in this location. You even have a small motorboat off to the side you can use to jazz up your build. I mean, how many other spots have that? Sticking with the island theme, let's head to the Cranberry Bog for our final camp location. From the Bootlegger Shack spawn location, head south toward Watoga until you hit this beautiful little island. You'll have access to all the water you could ever want, plus a beautiful flat patch of land to build your dream camp on. The road and bridges that split the island really lend this location to a settlement type build or maybe something like a trader camp. There's a silver resource vein on the southern part of the island you can incorporate too if you want. The bridges and log piles offer some unique building opportunities as well. You're not too far from the action at this spot either as you're surrounded by super mutants at abandoned bog town, scorched at the ranger station, and up the road is a blood eagle spawn. Not to mention there's a pretty high chance of scorched bees paying a visit, so plan accordingly. All right, I hope you enjoyed this fun list of awesome waterside camp locations. Do you have any favorite watery spots you like to build at? Let me know down in the comments. If you'd like to see more, subscribe to get all my latest Fallout 76 camp builds, tutorials, and more. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.